and you have been in this court before. I have, Your Honor. Yeah. I mean, I keep dealing with idiots like her. I'll okay, tell that's you not I'm an idiot. No, not, no, she's not. Okay. Thanks. Cheyenne Elliott claims she bought a car that broke down the day after she got it. And when she tried to give it back, the defendant repossessed it and kept her down payment. She's suing him for $5,000. Sam Shalash says the plaintiff threatened and harassed his employees. He repossessed the car for improper insurance and owes nothing. You are suing him because what he you believe? He sold me a lemon. Yes. He's a lemon. This is a case about you buying a lemon. I bought a car due to I needed a reliable vehicle. I yeah. seen their, their shop. I liked it, this car. I seen it was between two cars. So I test drove the one card I liked, I drove it, liked it, it purchased it, hit 3000 down on this vehicle. Your Honor, first of all, she started by saying that we sold her a lemon, but she's literally picking out bolts that are stripped off. She doesn't know what the definition of a lemon vehicle is, so I, that's just ridiculous to me. The next day, I took my car to the car wash. The back passenger door poured in pink and purple bubbles. Poured it in, all through the back door. So I, while we're going through the car wash, I have to take my one-year-old out of her car seat. As soon as I go leave the car wash, I'm riding down the street. My husband's like, hey, pull over. Pull over for what? You need to pull over because your bumper's hanging off. I said, how the hell is my bumper hanging off? The bumper didn't fall off because it just fell off. It fell off because of the car wash. It's so obvious. Now, this is the second thing that I've already had this car for one and a half day. She went through a car wash, and the, 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 the water from the, the car wash was seeping through the, the back door. We fixed that. <laughs> we fixed it so much so that she keeps complaining, right, about us not fixing the car. We actually ended up taking a video where I sat inside the car, had the mechanic run a hose through every crevice that he could. Nothing got leaked. That's obviously something we fixed. She became a problematic customer from the very beginning. Nothing made her satisfied. No, maybe it's the bolt that's on the door that wasn't properly screwed in and the car door wasn't aligned. There's a picture where the door is not properly in line. That's the oh, yeah. bumper. That's where it was hanging off. I paid for to get that fixed. Yeah. That's the bolt that, that he came out to fix. And I told him I didn't want his mechanic touching my car no more. Because that, that bolt that my husband expressed that was messed up. That's why the, the door is properly not in line. And if you go to this third picture, you can see where the chip is painting and where the door is not aligned with the car. You can see at the top of the picture where it's aligned, right? Then we go to the bottom, it's not aligned at all. So their fix to that was a weather strip that I paid for. That's the first incident. Second incident is my car sounds like my tire's about to fall off. They wanted me to pay $816 to fix a front axle or strut and an AC compressor that's broke that I've only had this car for about two and a half, three weeks. I'm not paying y'all $816 when I just found the shop that I done took my other car to and I know they do great work and they was only gonna charge me $250 to, to fix the AC in the strut, wrong with okay. it. Right. And that's okay. not even all of it. The, I, the car don't even run. You, Two uh, days later, the car cut off and won't even run. This is a, a bedazzled ring that she put on the ignition. This is where the key goes in and the car would yeah, start yeah, if you yeah. turn the key in. So this little ring right here, we paid a company and we actually have evidence that we submitted to the court. We had to hire a, a specialist, a programmer, because our mechanics were telling us the key does not talk to the car. This was interacting with the signal. The key was not starting the car because it was blocking the signal. That's really okay. it. There's okay. nothing wrong with the car. And where's the car now? He has it. He re repoed it, supposedly. It. Why did you uh, repossess the car? I repossessed the car because she canceled insurance. Everyone who buys a car from us, if it's financed, must carry full coverage insurance at all times. There's a full contract in there that she signed. She bought That's it March 13th. And when did you repossess the car? May 7th. So two months later, you repossessed it already. <laughs> so basically, how many, how many months was she behind in her payment? It wasn't because wasn't of the payment. So it wasn't because of the payment. You repossessed it because you're saying she didn't have insurance. She canceled her insurance right away. Your Honor, we made customers. What I have here, she got new insurance the 17th of March. Right. So, so four Mar days after she purchased, purchased the, car. the car, she got a new insurance. So let me just walk okay, you through this, and Your Honor. the new insurance is full insurance, it has collision as well as liability. I'm no. looking at it right here. The one thing that I see may be a problem mm -hmm. is that according to the, she didn't the make bill of holders. sale, she was the beneficiary. That is correct. Okay, that's fixable, isn't she it? Is, 
Well, it is fixable, but she became such a problem that we weren't really willing to deal okay. with her anymore. I brought. Okay, I let me hear the witness. Yeah, let me okay. hear your witness. Madison is our our service writer. Hi. Hi. Okay. Um. Well, uh, I just hate. I don't agree that she is painting Sam out to be this terrible person as to this <laughs> horrible company. When her last visited, she was just completely belligerent. Sure was. Threatened to kick my ass. Sure was. And, uh, okay, well, sorry. that's not going to work. I apologize. I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. This, I'm, that's why I don't want to deal with her. Did you threaten her? I didn't threaten nobody. You just admitted I it. I came in there and I was upset because every time I call up there, Madison's the one that answers. When I ask a question, how don't nobody ever have the answer? She's it's always, I'm going to ask them. I got to ask them. I got to ask them. You have all these workers for you, but none of them knows nothing. You always got to ask Sam. Can't nobody ever get in touch with Sam. I called the police the day he repoed my car to get to figure it out. Where's Sam? Oh, you out of the office all of a sudden. You out of the Your office. Honor. I rode past his mechanic shop. He was there. Your Honor. Come okay. on now. I own two so locations. So yeah, I am irate. I have three little kids that have been riding in a car that I purchased as a and the tire is going to fall off. So yeah, I have all right to feel the way I'm feeling. That's not accurate. Well, she, nothing's she, ever accurate to you. All Honor, right. I, what is accurate is she's upset. I, I understand and, and that. And she's upset. She's not making up how upset she is. So okay. she's obviously upset. This is not a and unique. Sir, shh, sorry. Shh, you needed a car, and you saw maybe the sticker said for eight thousand dollars you could have this car, which on the surface looked like a pretty nice car. You fall in love with the idea that I could have this car for $8,000. The monthly payments are going to be this. It was a beautiful car. OK. When you buy a car and finance it over a period of time, it looks like you're buying it for $8,000. You're really buying it for $11,000. Add to that that it's 12 years old and 125,000 miles on it, you're going to have, you're gonna have repairs. You're going to have things get old. They, you're going to have repairs. So this, what you thought was an $8,000 car, 11000 with financing, is suddenly going to be fourteen, fifteen, sixteen thousand dollars $16,000 and the headaches that you now have. You bought the car as is. As is is a red flag. I understand not everyone can afford to buy a new car. I just want people to be warned that you have to prepare for the worst. Hope for the best, prepare for the worst. After one month to repossess, and I understand that under the rules here and the contract that was signed, she has to have insurance, may I, collision may I, insurance, that may, makes you the beneficiary. Correct. I understand that. But You're right. Me, we don't just repo after a month or two. We speak to the customer. We speak with the insurance company. We get them to understand that they cannot do this. Your Honor, then let she me ask you this with, question. She started, Why didn't you know that all she would have to do to fix this whole situation? Sure. You getting on the phone with her new insurance company? Well, we did. We did, Your Honor. That's how we ended it up with the change the beneficiary. Okay, now hold on. That wasn't even the case until the day that I took the car in when it wasn't running. I understand, and I'm no. saying to you. And I was very nice until that last now, day. Now, both of you, listen here. This is crazy. You guys, you're, gonna pay me you're out a person. lot of money. And all that has to be done to fix this case is change the beneficiary of the insurance. You give the car back. You go to a different mechanic if you choose. You never have to deal with them again. You just make the payments on the car. If you don't, listen to what I'm saying. Your Honor, we do that listen all the time. Listen to what I'm saying. We do it all the time. No, I don't want to deal with that at all. I don't. Okay, but then I'm used to this is you my first paid time. three thousand dollars down payment. You're really ready to kiss it goodbye? If I have to and then I deal with them, I don't care. <laughs> oh, time we'll take out. that deal. Shh. Time out. I don't You're care. willing to pay three thousand just so you don't have to talk to him again? What are you throwing out three thousand dollars for? Because I already had to pay two thousand for repairs on a car that's not even mine, just to get my daughter back and forth to school. So yeah, not to deal with them. That's not I, true, Your Honor. We deal with this on a daily like basis. Like I said, I don't want to deal with them. cars all the time. They Exhibit come, they fix a, the problem, they take Exhibit the car back. Exhibit A shows what? all the breakdowns of everything that I had to pay for my sister's Malibu just to borrow her car for the last month and until I get what? a new vehicle. Yes, I had to pay all this. So yeah, I'm you willing the Malibu. to pay she this fix before car. I will have to deal with him. You're the one that filed the suit. You came here saying you want the money 
and now you're coming here and telling me you don't. I want the money. money. I don't want. I don't want to deal with him. I don't want to I take said, the car. Shh, I said you don't have to deal with him. If you take the car, you don't have to deal with him anymore. You go to another mechanic. I just oh, want a refund of my money. I don't want to deal with that. I don't want that vehicle. I just want my money back for what I paid for the vehicle. That's all. Your Honor. I'm not buying. Yeah, I'm years. upset. I'm really upset. Yeah, I am. She, this is my first time ever buying a used car or going to a car lot. Right. And the only reason I did it is because they had a credit thing because I was trying to buy a house for my kids at the beginning of the year and they wouldn't let me. I had to build up credit. He had this great thing where it went straight through and you build up credit right when you start making your payments. Sure. That sounds like a good opportunity for me. Yeah. Maybe I'll be able to get my house next year and might have some credit. We do it all that the was time. the whole thing. That's so, yeah, I'm upset right. about this situation. I've heard both sides. And you have been in this court before. I have, Your Honor. Yeah. I mean, I keep dealing with idiots like her. I'll okay. tell every year. Not I'm an idiot. No, not, no, she's not. Okay. Thank you. Your Honor, she's Head crying night. on this courtroom to try to get this. Look, I understand that she's upset. I'm but she comes in belligerent. She, she can't I'm threaten our employees. I understand. She said she doesn't want to talk to the mechanic. But the mechanic is the guy who fixes the cars. I've given you both an option to fix the case, go back to square one. She wouldn't have to deal with you guys anymore, but she's making the decision that she doesn't want the car back. I'm trying to do what is fair and just. You will survive my decision, so I am going to fine for the plaintiff in the sum of $2,000. I do understand why he gave her some money he felt some compassion for her because she cried the entire time. Don't purchase from him. You're going to be in the same predicament I am. And you ain't going to get your money back with his lying ass. He ain't workable. You ain't never going to get in touch with him with none of that. Hey, YouTube, thanks for watching. For more Judge Jerry, click here. For more Jerry Springer, click here.